Hi everyone, welcome to Taddy Apron. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful pasta dish using anchovies. Um, these are not the dry kinds that you get on pizzas. They're not salty and rather funky tasting. They're lovely, they're preserved in olive oil. Now to balance off the pungency of the anchovies, we're going to use lots of lime, parsley, garlic of course, and lovely briny capers. Oh, I came up with this dish years ago uh, after having traveled to Italy quite profusely and what I really loved about their pastas was when using uh, strong tasting fish, they use it in small amounts. They're just there to give the pasta an aroma, a lovely kind of smell and taste as opposed to being the central thing. And let me tell you, it is so wonderful and balanced and light. Um, and really easy, which is why I make it all the time. So I hope you enjoy this dish. I certainly do. Let's get started. First, we need to slice the garlic. Slice the garlic in very, very thin, 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 thin shavings. Because what you want is you want the garlic to almost dissolve in your pan. So now you want to Cut your anchovies very thinly, tiny little pieces. What's going to happen is they're going to dissolve as well. So you don't want big chunks of anchovies or anything like that. It's going to be very, very small. Tiny little cubes. Give them more of a chop. Make sure that they're nice and small. So now that that's done, we can take the lime and break the zest. Using half of it. And next, you want to chop up your parsley. Lovely, wonderful, aromatic parsley. And there we are. Now if you're like me and need spice in your food, just throw in a nice red chili. This goes brilliantly with the rest of the flavors. Now bring a large pot of water to a boil and then add two tablespoons of salt. Throw in your spaghetti. Now I use spaghetti because it's the pasta that suits this dish the best. Let it cook for just about half a minute less than the package instructions. In the meantime, Pour in olive oil into a pan, about one and a half tablespoons. Make sure that the heat is on medium-low. Then throw in your garlic, followed by the anchovies and the chili. Bring the heat down to its lowest and stir. What you want is the, for the garlic to soften and the anchovies to break down. So you can help this along by pushing down with a wooden spoon to break it up. Now as the pasta is cooking, it releases starch into the water. So we're gonna use some of that starchy water to add to our sauce. This will give it body, thicken it up, and 
give it more moisture. By now the garlic is softened and the anchovies would have disintegrated. Throw in about one teaspoon of capers. And a good splash of caper brine. Now to brighten things up a bit, we add in the lime zest. This will really lift the dish. Now we can squeeze in the juice of half a lime. Again, this will add moisture and freshness to the sauce. So what we've essentially created here is a real punchy and flavorsome dressing, more so than a sauce. And this is what makes the dish so authentic. Italians don't drench their pastas in sauce, they dress them. Sprinkle in half uh, of your parsley. Then drain your pasta, but keep back about one to two tablespoons of the pasta water. Pour in your pasta into the pan. Now the pasta water does two things. Number one, it will absorb into the spaghetti as it cooks, and it will also help bind our dressing to the pasta. So let it cook on low for about a minute, tossing continuously, making sure that every strand of spaghetti is covered or coated in the anchovy dressing. Finally, sprinkle some fresh parsley on top and mix it in. As you can see, the pasta is very moist and glossy, not dry at all. And now we're ready to plate. You will be surprised at how flavorsome and zingy this pasta dish is. I think it's perfection. It's quick, it's flavorsome, and it's healthy. Buonissimo! Thanks for watching.